The Patriot crew have seen their share of obstacles on the road to Willoughby. They've done the hard yards, clearing the tracks from the tinny and helping out the locals. Now it's time for the convoy to tackle their deepest crossing yet. Now it's time. Get all this gear across the river. I've got my two co-pilots in the car with me. This is going to be fun. All right, what's the plan for this one? And we all hook up together or are we go in groups? Do you want me to pull yet? You pull me. So I'll go me, Sarah, uh, me, you, Sarah at the back, yep. and then you take the rest. Yep. Yeah, let's hook it up. Let's get it done. This is going to be fun. Cool. All right, plans change, so you're going to go first, eh? Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, we got we got a winch ready to go on that. Yeah. You got a strap on the back of yours? Yeah. Yeah? We'll see how you go. Let's do this, brother. Good luck, brother. All right, boss. John's going in the river, first one through for the year. He's only got rear wheel drive. I can't believe he's doing it. What a legend. Only having two wheel drive and being the first through, I was really nervous. All right, here we go, boys. Jesus, that's deep. John's going in, the water's getting deeper, it's going over his tray. He looks like he's in trouble. Halfway through, the car started to float, then she sunk. How are you looking there, mate? Looking really good, brother. Yeah, mate, you're good. We're through, boys! Yeah! John's getting through it. I can hear him cheering from across the river. Well done, mate. Awesome. Well done. How's that? That tray was high. Okay, that tray's high. Once the car sunk and I knew I had traction again, and I got to the other side, I knew I'd made it. And I was just so happy, mate. And the yee and the carrying on afterwards was just like a massive celebration. 79 made that look easy in rear-wheel drive, dude. Up in the territory, mate, we only roll with two-wheel drives. <laughs> How are we doing up here, mate? <laughs> John made that look way too easy. The locals don't sweat crossings like this. Now it's time for the convoy to follow suit. Maddie is towing Chase and Casey in the Hilux with the Super Ram, and Spanners is following in his wake. All that hard work from this morning's paid off. Look, I didn't get a real good look at it like yesterday afternoon, but um, coming back this morning, I got real nervous. All right, coming through, guys. Let's go, um, Chase and Dave. Yeah, I'm good. Let's go. Enter in the water, nerves start, you look forward, just keep going. I'm pulling close to 15 tonnes here. If something goes wrong, there's a lot to lose. Definitely been hooked up to the ramp. I feel heaps more confident. Here we go. Going forward, this water's getting deeper and deeper and deeper. Come on, big girl. This is deep, don't let me down now. That's really deep. If the ram's that deep, I'm going under. Hardcore, man, that's deep. That, that is, is really real deep. deep. I've seen what these boys do on these trips. I didn't realise I signed up for this. No water in, though. It's deeper here, I'm, I'm floating. Yeah, you're floating, mate. Holy crap. It's deeper here, I'm that's floating. That's real deep. Do I look out my window and watch for crocs, or do I watch this big floating pontoon behind me? My hands are solid on that steering wheel, but I got foot shake really bad on those pedals. Oh, oh Jesus! Wow! Well I look in the rear view and I see everyone pulling into the shallows. Mission accomplished. You! Yeah. True! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah! Oh my god! That was awesome! Yeah, no, guys, we'll get the mega tour ready. Now let's see what the mega tour can do. That's hard. Cool. Right, right, That's right, getting right, deep. Hold on. Yes. Coming up. Oh, weeds. No crops. No crops. Yeah, we're definitely still the weeds with us. There's definitely some weeds in there. Let's go see the other boys come across. Yeah, let's go get them. When I got through to the other side, jumped out of the car, turned around, that was the best thing I've ever done. OK, team, are we ready? Look, I'm always known to be the one that likes to take care of their stuff. When I saw how deep this water was, I was worried we were going to get it wet. Ready? Before we went into the creek, I was so nervous. Bobby, you ready, mate? Yeah, yeah, let's go. As soon as we took off, I could feel the weight of both the other cars on the back of the Mega Six. You follow my line, babe. You concentrate on following where I drive, OK? Roger. I'm ready for this. Let's send it, boys. Yep. Yeah. Let's send it, Yanni. Give it good. Go. Yeah. Give it hell. All right, guys, here we go. Woohoo! Don't feel like getting wet inside this car. All right, here we go. It's getting deep. I've done some pretty wild stuff, but this is hardcore. Oh my god. That's deep. 
We've got the bow wave going, but this is getting deeper and deeper. Now, if this is deep for me, at the height the Mega 6 is sitting, it's going to be real deep for the cars behind. Go the Mega 6. Go the Mega. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Go, 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 go. We get into the creek, it starts to get quite deep. The water's coming up over the bonnet. Is that the end? <laughs> you drove the wheels up it, Mum. <laughs> Now, there was no way I was going to change gears in the deepest part of the creek. But as soon as I could see the water was below the gearbox, I had no choice. I was running out of revs. I grabbed second. Just as we were pulling into the deep section is when Justin decided to pull second. That instantly pulled me downwards into the water, throwing it all over my bonnet. Well done, good drive team. We might have gone a bit fast. I grabbed second dude and just sent it. Yeah, it sent my bonnet under and water started spraying in through the window. Go the Mega 6. As soon as I was out of the deepest part, I knew the cars behind me were coming. We're going to Willoughby. Was that epic or what? Well done. <laughs> good job. How'd you go, darling? You like that? That's one for the girls. Was that, that was sick or what? Sick. When, well you, when, you, when you pulled that second, awesome. it just pulled my car down. Oh so when I grabbed second, I could see you in the rear view, but I was running out of revs. I'm like, I've got to grab another gear. You pulled second, second, second. second. You just... How good was it? Oh, that, was, that was awesome. Well, that's probably been the hardest two days that I can recall. But we're only 20 kilometres, gotten through the hard bit. Now we can start relaxing and enjoying this. I reckon that's the hardest hardest 100 kilometres of four-wheel driving I've ever done, and it wasn't even hard four-wheel driving. No. It was just hard work. Because yeah, all the trees we had to move, yeah. everything, just so much stuff in our way. Yeah. Just, it was it was, that was just hard work. The Patriot crew conquered that crossing, the deepest at Merganella Creek, with little more than a few damp toes. It's on to Willoughby, which is on the Northern Territory coastline. Even though Justin beat the Merganella Creek crossing in the Mega Tourer, he still has a score to settle with the Ram. Hey, Matty, you on channel? Yeah, mate, what's going on? I um, want a drag race. You got no chance, buddy. All right, get on that airstrip, dude. Let's do it. Who's <laughs> <laughs> gonna beat the Ram? You're feeling that confident, aren't you? <laughs> The battle between the Mega Tourer and the Ram is on. What better way to settle the score between Justin and Maddie than with a drag race? Placing bets on this one will be a hard call. Let's see who has the most speed and torque. Here we go again. Another challenge between the Mega 6 and the Ram. And this time, my money's on the Mega 6. You ready, baby? Let's go, big guy. Justin thinks he's got this race in the bag, but I know what this Super Ram can do and there's no way I'm losing. Even though the airstrip is closed and there's no chance of any incoming aircraft, John still keeps a keen eye on the sky. Here we go. Here we go. Rolled off that line so good. Oh, we're gonna be so close! When I went to grab second, I just couldn't get it into gear. Oh, oh. Bring it on, Justin. The Mega Six doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> oh, dude, only because I didn't get second! Bloody Matt, he got me again. What do I have to do to beat this guy? Got me. Ran by half, mate. Ran by half. <laughs> Dude, another 100 metres, I would have got you easy. Maybe. I was pulling. You were pulling. Do we want to move the cars back and go again? Or are you going to call that? You're going to call that. We'll call it a ram. I think it's ram. Three. So the ram's won the Tiger Wall. The ram has pulled the Mega Tour out twice. So it's three, Jim. And the ram won the drag race. Three, but two. I don't reckon that was 400. And on the second, anyway. The big rigs have had their day, and that's one more point for the ram. 
Now, let's see what these tradie youths can do. Sarah might even have a secret weapon up her sleeve. You nervous, Chase? I've got to say, this is the most nervous I've been on the whole trip. <laughs> I'll go back, and as soon as I stop, I'm going to be clicking the button, so this go off that, all right? OK. And I'm good, guys. What? Ready? Yeah. Go! Go! Come on, go! Go time! Go, Mum! Don't worry, Mia. We gave him a little head start, but we've definitely got this. She's catching me. I've got the start I needed, but I can see the Ranger coming up quick. My foot is flat to the floor. I don't know if I can hold Sarah off. Ah! <laughs> Kicking your head! The extra power of the Ranger has got me. Hang on a minute. Does Sarah know where the finish line is? <laughs> God damn it! Oh my God, I thought you had me. I don't know where. Sarah, did you back off? I think I might have, because I just had it. <laughs> whatever helps, Sarah. Whatever helps. Well done. I feel pretty happy. Well done, but I reckon Sarah backed off for sure. Well, if it doesn't happen, really... you lost. I win, Mia! I just didn't want Chase to lose. <laughs> you must have backed off. <laughs> you were flogging him. I think I was just like, woo, got this. You were flogging him. You must yeah. have backed off. I thought it was all over. Did, did you have your talking in race mode too? I did. <laughs> you actually yeah. did, did you? Yeah. yeah. That's, cool. awesome. That's so awesome. good. Awesome. All right. Fun. Let's go up to Willoughby, eh? Yeah. Cool. Willoughby is just around the corner, and the team is hungry to reach their final destination. After a massive day, getting to Willoughby will be well and truly worth it. Willoughby is situated on the northern coastline of the Northern Territory, approximately 600 kilometres from Darwin. The only way in or out is via deep water crossings or by charter plane from Darwin. Well, I'm looking at the Hamer, guys. Looks like we're here. This is Willoughby. Looking forward to this bit. I can see the ocean and I can see islands. What do you think of that, babe? Look on the right, look at the beach. It is out of this world. Amazing, eh? This is awesome. This is living. Dad, you reckon you're going to be able to be here for a few days? I think so, eh? Hey? This is magnificent. It's paradise. Welcome to Willoughby, everybody. Finally. Made it. We're a bit spoiled. The crew's used to roughing it in deserted locations with not much luxury to them at all. John spoiled the convoy with this cabin and everyone's energised at the thought of having this as home base for the next few days, especially after the epic trip to get here. All right, team. Okay. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. What an epic, epic, Cheers. epic Cheers. day. Was Cheers. that like the best day ever? Oh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Good on you guys, John. The team enjoys a well-deserved rest with a coldie while they soak up the sunset over the Northern Territory coastline. As the sun falls over the open ocean, the chefs in the Patriot crew swing back into action to feed the hungry convoy. As the sun falls over the open ocean, the chefs in the Patriot crew swing back into action to feed the hungry convoy. A couple of days ago, we were down at Shady Camp and we caught a couple of big barramundi. Actually, you caught one of the I caught one. Too. I did. This could be your fish in here. So tonight, Casey's going to whip up a, a pretty cool meal. Yeah, we're going to make a Spanish paella. Well, yep. a take on a Spanish paella without yep. all the ingredients. With fresh barramundi. A bit of chorizo. Chorizo. Onion, capsicum, tomato, lemon. Gold. Paprika. Yep. It's a standard. I always have that in my camper. So tonight, I'm trading in the winch remote for the knife. It's been a while since I've been on I the know, knife. I know, I know. Yeah? So let's um, mate, get into it. What do you want me to do? Right, if you, you want, want to dice this? this? Get on the fish and yeah, dice that up, and I'll get this going over here. All right, dude. Let's get a crack. Awesome. How big a pieces do you want, mate? Uh, nothing too big. Uh, about yay. But, yeah. Don't. Yeah, about that. OK, good. So about sort of that. All right, so run us through it, man. So if I want to do this again, yep. what's what's the trick? Start off with your onion, your capsicum and your chorizo. Yep. And really cook cool. that out Better. for quite a bit of time. Yep. And then we're going to throw in a touch of tomato paste, a can of tomato. Yep. Cook it out five, ten minutes. Yep. In with the rice. Mm. It's not like a risotto where you constantly have to stir it and slowly add the water. With the paella, you want to get your rice in there. And get it crunchy on the bottom, Yep. Mark. Two and a half the amounts of rice that you put in there. You want to put two and a half amounts of water. Yep. 
and you don't want to stir it again. Once your water's in there, mm -hmm. you give it a quick stir, you don't want to stir it again. Yep. How are you enjoying uh, cooking out here, Dad? Love it. Absolutely loving it. Yeah? Yep. It beats the ultraviolet lights. A little bit different to paint in a um, <laughs> kitchen in Brisbane City. There's no comparison, really. How much fish do you reckon you need for this, man? Go on another maybe two or three fillets and I'll probably do it. Yeah? Yeah. So this stuff here, chamula, I was having a muck around with this before. I'll tell you what it is. It's Where's this come from? North Africa, I do believe. North Africa. I tell you, it smells exactly like chimichurri, eh? And I tell you, that smell is just a bit amazing. How is that? Yeah, no, I love it. You use that I every day. It. I do. Um, how much of this, dude? What do you reckon? Quarter? Quarter of the jar? Yeah, no, go quarter of that jar. More the merrier. I'm going to get all up in this. So get that all mixed up in there. Open that up for me, babe. Do you want a lip? We're getting plenty more fish. Do you want to try it? No, thanks. All right, I'll turn some of this paprika. All right. What's that? Paprika? Paprika. Right. Mate, it's worthwhile buying yep. the good stuff. Oh, here, come on. Okay, so it's worth noting as well that the other, I suppose the other trick is you pre-boiled the water, yeah? 100%. You don't yep. want to put cold water yep. in there, in with the rice? Yep. You want, it, you want it to absorb and start cooking straight away. Yep. You don't want it to wait. Yep. So you want to get getting straight in there. All right, if you get that bag open, we'll get a good amount in there. All right, mate, do your thing. Done. I didn't think we could get it all in. It's a good-sized pan. Good pan, eh? That's going to blow up, though, eh? Yeah, that will, that will double in size. That yeah. will fill this pan. That's going to swell for sure. So, <laughs> is it like um, arborio rice? Do you have to keep stirring? Paola, you almost want it to burn on the bottom. The bottom, you, you want the bottom crust, crunchy. You want a crust on the bottom. Like a, like yep. a cake. You know what? I never thought I'd say this, but I actually do miss cooking. So, here's a little fact that I think not a lot of people know about me. I actually, when I left school, I went and done my trade as a chef. I cooked in the commercial kitchen for almost four years. So this isn't the first time that I've cooked. I, I do still enjoy it, but Casey, he's, he's taken it and run with it. He's been doing it for a very, very long time and, and he knows his stuff. All right, so show me what's in here, mate. That's actually a stock. It's, it's a not stock. just water. Yeah. Chicken stock, normally for fish, I'd use fish yeah, stock. Okay. Oh, we got chicken stocks. So what'd you use to make the stock, cubes? Uh, no, uh, we, it... we bought one of the packet salt reduced one because yep. you don't want it to be so Yeah, so one of those two litre like yep. milk carton style ones. So I went with one litre of that and then yep. I've added two litres of water to it, because I don't want it to be too chickeny. And you actually, what's floating in there, Dave? That's saffron. You actually did bring saffron. I've got saffron. Who brings... We're going to do it, we're going to do it right. Who brings saffron cooking? All right. Do you want me to stir it or no? No, nah, we won't just stir it. it. Just let it sit. Yep. That's it, just let it do its yep. thing there. And we'll pretty much just agitate this pan for the rest of the time. We're when good. I think of agitation, I think of so my relationship with Matt. Every so often we'll come along and just give a little bit of a... Yep. We'll let that go for about 10, 15 minutes. Oh, yep. About 10 minutes and then we'll start putting the fish on top. Yep. Cover it with foil and let yep. it steam up and finish off. Let's enjoy that for a minute. Cheers. Um, we'll go sit by the fire. Kids, who's agitating? Christian, come and agitate. Me. All right, let's kick it. Let's have a beer for a bit and we'll let it do its thing. We're ready to put the fish in, right? Get the fish on there. So a fish straight stock. in there, dude? Yep. And what, you're going to bang a bit more stock Spread in it out. We'll put a little more stock. That smells absolutely Try and push amazing. it down a little bit in there. The less we stir it, the less we have to put, mix it around, the better it'll be. Just chuck a little bit more stock on top, just to help that fish. And at this point, we just keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't dry out too much. And every so often, we might just have to come throw a ladle on top. So how long do you reckon this is going to take now? I reckon we'll give it about another 10 minutes. We'll come back and have a look. Yep. All right, cool. 10 minutes, we'll come back. All right, mate, so that's been how long? About 20, 25 minutes. 25 Started. minutes from start to finish. Yep. That's one of the quickest meals that you could possibly do to feed 13 people. I think so. And let's say... You could do this with anything, eh? Anything. You could chuck anything in there. Yep. So if you were out, you're catching pippies or red claw, cherubin. Prawns. Prawns. Anything. Whatever. You can even go fish. away from the seafood and just throw chicken in there. You could Anything. You could do it with absolutely anything. That's a really, really simple camp meal, dude. And I'm, I'm really impressed. What's left to do? Parsley? All right, we'll go the lemon. Parsley. If you want yep. to squeeze those two lemons all yep. over. And that that's it. is done. done. All that's left to do? Serve it up. Feed the crow. Mate, what are we going to call this? Barramundi paella. Well done. Awesome. All right, team. Everyone ready to go or what? Yeah. Let's go. Get in here. So that's really about as simple as you can get when you go camping. Honestly, look at that. That's not something you get served in a restaurant. Under half an hour, 
basic, basic ingredients. You just need yourself a paella pan, but look, you could do it on the stove if you weren't cooking for so many people. Barramundi, paella, awesome, awesome bit of gear. Next time on Patriot Games. The quad bikes see some action as they head to the beach for their first mission, exploring around the headland. Hey boys, do you copy? Yeah, Dad. You reckon you'll get through? Sending it! Full power! Some of the Patriot crew get separated and an epic mission swings into motion. and the crew feast on some Thai-inspired camp cooking before getting a little too close for comfort with one of the salty locals. Mia, look, quick, come here. 